in this video I will show you some operation of complex number here I will show you the addition subtraction multiplication division and exponents of complex numbers let's say I have two complex numbers first one is j1 equal to minus 6 plus j3 and second one is j2 equal to 10 45 degree for convenience let's say I convert this j1 into polar form that will be 6.71 phase angle will be 153.43 degree and here if I convert this into polar form if I convert this into rectangular form I will get 7.07 .07 plus J 7.07 .07. if I compare the J1 and J2 with a standard form of complex number this can be expressed as x1 plus j y1 and this format can be expressed as r1 let's say phi1 if i compare this with standard form i will get r2 phi2 here i will get x2 plus j y2 when we will perform addition and subtraction of complex number we will use Cartesian or rectangular form when I will perform multiplication division and exponent I will use polar form okay so for addition and subtraction we will use rectangular form and for multiplication division and exponent we will use polar form so at first let's say I am adding z1 with z2 z1 plus z2 see z1 has its real part x1 plus j y1 imaginary part plus x2 plus j y2 here you will see we will add real part with real part and we will add imaginary part with another imaginary part and here you will see I am using rectangular form here if I add z1 with z2 I will get z1 plus z2 which will be equal to minus 6 plus j 3 plus 7.07 .07 plus j 7.07 .07. see I will add this real part with this real part and add this imaginary part with this imaginary part so I will get minus 6 plus 7.07 .07 plus j 3 plus 7.07 so here I will get 1.07 plus j into 10.07 now let's say I will perform subtraction z1 minus z2 while performing subtraction I will use rectangular form that means x1 plus jy1 minus x2 minus jy2 so here I will write down it like this S real part will be subtracted from real part and imaginary part will be subtracted from imaginary part jy1 minus y2 here as I have to subtract z1 from z2 I will write it like this z1 minus z2 minus 6 plus j3 minus 7.07 .07 minus j 7.07 .07. here I will work with real part with real part and imaginary part with this imaginary part here I will get 
minus 6 minus 7.07 .07. here if I take this j common I will get j into 3 minus 7.07 .07. here I will get minus 13.07 minus j 4.07 okay now let me show you the multiplication of these two complex numbers z1 into z2 here when I will multiply z1 with z2 I will consider the polar form here you will see the amplitude of the z1 is r1 we will multiply the amplitude that means r1 will be into r2 r1 into r2 and we will add the phase angles to get the multiplication of two complex numbers phi1 plus phi2 okay so here z1 into z2 here r1 is equal to 6.71 and r2 is equal to 10 okay and our phase angle here it is 153.43 degree and here it is 45 degree so here I will get total 67.1 phase angle will be equal to 198.43 degree you may convert it into rectangular form now let's say I have to perform division that means z1 divided by z2 when we have to perform division of two complex numbers we will divide the amplitudes with one another here z1 by z2 so i will divide the amplitude of z1 with the amplitude of z2 that means r1 by r2 and i will subtract the phase of z1 from phase of z2 that means i will get phi1 minus phi2 so here if i take z1 divided by z2 you will see i will divide the amplitude of z1 with the amplitude of z2 6.71 divided by 10 phase angle will be i will subtract phase angle of z2 from the phase angle of z1 i will write it like this 153.43 degree minus 45 degree therefore i will get here 0 0.671 and here our phase angle will be 108.43 degree now I will show you the exponent of complex number let's say I want to raise the power of z1 to the power n so how do we find z1 to the power n we will simply take the amplitude r1 and raise it to the power n and we will multiply the phase angle with the value of n okay let's say i want to take the z1 square amplitude of z1 is 6.71 so i will take the square of z1 and i will multiply the phase angle phi1 with 2 that will give us our z1 square which will be equal to 45.02 and this phase angle will be equal to 306.86 degree okay that's it Thank you.